been a while since I did this video. Um, we're gonna be talking about a circle mill today. Um, so I've done circle mill videos before. I love that option. You can use it for uh, holes, opening holes, um, thread milling, and such. Obviously, you need to have a life tooling uh, for this option. And uh, I'm gonna talk about different options actually that um, uh, that I haven't talked about before. Um, so let's get it going. Um, just to kind of show you, and, I, and I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Um, when you, so you can have two different types of a circle mill. And let me uh, let me actually engage them. Uh, the job is done. My boss is gone, so I don't have to hurry. Um, so these two are uh, the figure is is same. The, f the figure is exactly the copy of the other, right? So you, we have a single point center, right? So X center zero, C zero, uh, starting point on a Z zero. As you see, everything is the same. The only difference that you're gonna see is gonna be the tornado. Okay, you see option one, and over here in the calculator. Option zero is circular, circ is circular, and option one is a tornado. Okay, so we're gonna do tornado on uh, unit uh, six, and we're gonna do the circular on unit seven. The diameter, so it's asking you the diameter. So we want this to be open a hole uh, to 630,000. Just want to say I'm using a little bit smaller end mill, which is a half an inch. The depth, so we want to open 630 um, from starting from uh, zero to one inch and 40,000. And this one is asking me for the bottom. This is gonna be that face. So when it comes down, it's gonna clean up the face and then pitch one and two. So it's gonna go 20,000, 20,000, 20,000 and such. Now, if you pick, okay, the circular, now you have additional questions. It's asking the bottom, and it says prepared hole diameter. When I says five, uh, when I said 520, let's talk about this, okay? So, first of all, the tornado goes like this. It goes deep and deep and deep and deep till it hit, till it, let's say it hits that 140 okay the circular it's got a different behavior okay so we want 630 right 630 what this one does it comes in we're telling it that there's a 520 hole okay already it's gonna start opening more and more and more till it opens it but if let's say this is my part and I need this to go from here to here it's gonna go halfway and it always does it doesn't matter if you go if you tell her to go four inches it will go two inches and then another inches two inches it's gonna start opening more and more and more and more then it's gonna go again it's gonna go to like one inch and let's say 35,000 leave 5,000 for the finish and it's gonna go again 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 and then it's gonna come down to the center, clean it up and then leave in the center. Now, this is very important because for example, let's say you have a hole that's two inches and you, you, you are using uh, half an inch end mill. And uh, this is the case, it doesn't matter if you're gonna use a tornado or you're gonna use the circular. If your hole is two inches, you're using a half an inch end mill and let's say you're doing a tornado imagine you're gonna remove all this okay and you still have a lot of material left right so like from the side profile it's gonna look like this you know this material is removed and you have like a big piece of uh, big piece of material left at inside when it's done go let's say when it's done bottoming them out and let's say you're gonna put anything outside of zero on that bottom 
what it's gonna do is gonna come try to come down here to the middle clean this face and then come out in the center if you have material over here then it's gonna technically crash into it you might you know damage an anvil or part or even worse it depends on the size of the tool you have so always remember if you have a so let's say half an inch end mill right if you're gonna go all around you know with the, with the tool pretty much like this it will give you maximum one inch okay so if I'm doing one inch hole I'm gonna use uh, half an inch or five eighths and middle or three quarters um, I and there's a difference let's say if you go in all the way through right so there's like literally n nothing and and I've had that before too when I was doing uh, I think 1.5 inch hole with three quarters okay and mil so technically that would give me uh, three quarters so that will give me inch and a quarter so it left like a quarter you know kind of quarter inch piece and I figured once it's gonna go all the way through this thing is gonna fall and most of the time it did fell and then one time it got caught into an end mill um, it technically broke the end mill and I m messed up the part so if you have an inch and a half okay inch and a half and you have let's say 625 end mill do it in two cycles if there's no other way try to either drill it and open open a hole okay or try to thread mill it okay and then uh, do a second thread mill where you already have a hole and that way you don't have any pieces sticking out and such okay so um the piece is already done <clears throat> the reason why i use a thread mill because that face back there had to be clear usually you don't get it a nice flat uh, piece from a drill um, even if it's an indexable drill and what happens is like um, usually if the hole is pretty far you know I don't want to go to with the micro bar and try to kind of go all the way down to the zero so deep you know without a chatter um, let me cover this picture and this is feature that I'm doing right now so what I did was I let me see if I can I try to kind of get this section since I uh, uh, since I circle mill to 630 uh, and I use a half an inch end mill with uh, with the corner radius and this one has got a 690 with the radius so that gave me a plenty of space to come down with a 312,000 bar and you know open this up just throw that radius in and then come down and finish that hole right so I had a plenty of space and as you see back there there's like a there's a radius and obviously and and this is this was all open okay so let's run let's run uh first it's gonna be our uh circle mill and this is gonna be the tornado one so the tornado one is gonna go deep deeper 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 it's gonna move on a z uh, not just on an x and y Okay. It's not going to be cutting. This is just going to be for observational purposes only. Oh, this little bastard. Hold on. Let me. Okay. What I'm do is I'm gonna. Okay. So as you see, it runs on the same circle, right, so on the same radius. The only thing is that it's moving differently is the Z position. So every revolution, it goes 20,000 deeper. 
and let's look at the program movement so you see it runs on x it runs on a y right that's what gives it that up uh, up and down and then runs uh, as you see it goes deeper and deeper on a z okay and then once it's gonna get to that one inch and forty thousand it's gonna do like a circle at one inch and forty till it hits the bottom right and it's gonna clean up the face and then it's gonna pull out and once again all right guys so i'm gonna shut this off i'm gonna home set the uh, home it out out of the part send it back home on an x now i'm gonna uh, drop it on the y back uh, to the center because if it's not in the center it's not gonna run okay and i'm gonna go and run the circular one which is the option zero all right And as you see, this one starts with the, in the center, right? So, let me see. So, as you see, position X0, zero, Y0, zero, and it's go, keep, and it keeps traveling, okay? Uh, and like I said, uh, one time I will, uh, the reminder, the depth is one inch and 40,000, okay? I have it in a single block, so she's gonna go halfway, okay? As you see, 5 inches and 17, plus uh, the, the remaining uh, difference, that's going to be for the finish, okay? Okay, so I stopped it, and I'm going to shut off the, the single block, and let's run it. As you see, it goes from the center and it st starts to make a bigger and bigger radius. We center. Now continue on adapt. Same thing. So right now it's at one inch and uh, 35,000, right? So 4,008 has left. It runs a circle. Okay, so it's picking up on X and on a Y. Once, once, once it's done it, it moves to one inch and 40,000. Okay, and it's cleaning everything up. And it's gonna come down to the center once it does the full revolution. And it's gonna come out, the job is done. So these, uh, so these options, like I said, are very, very helpful. Um, the only difference, like I said, you know, for the circular, you already have to have a hole that's a little bit bigger than your end mill. So obviously, if your end mill is half an inch, then uh, have at least 520 um, or maybe 600 and, and start to open it from there. Uh, versus, for example, if, uh, if you have a tornado that as long as your uh, hole is not bigger, or you're removing bigger than your end mill, so technically half an inch maximum that I would go to is one inch. If you need to go two inches, then do one inch first, and then do a second program and go from one inch to two inches, and and you should be alright then. Uh, like I said, like on the, in these uh, situations, drilling a small hole it always helps because it kind of relieves the center uh, load on the tools, but. Uh, with the end mills and if you have a proper cooling and like, you know, uh, good speeds and this and that, it's uh, what you call it then, you know, it's a really good option to kind of have. Uh, all right, guys. Um, hopefully uh, this is uh, uh, going to be helpful to some of you. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you uh, next time. Hey, guys. So I wanted to show you one more uh, um, example of circle mill. So I got a part, it's got these notches over here. Okay, and 
it shows you the center of this radius and you can actually use a circle circle mill to actually do that and let me show you to path so technically this is the part and you see these are the notches okay and the way you program these so it's a circle min XC tornado 780 because it's uh it's 390 diameter of the radius so 390 times 2 120 150,000 deep my pitch it cuts 20,000 and 20,000 my end mill 780 so these are repeats speeds and feeds now so this is gonna be rx so from the center okay so from here to here okay it says 970 well my machine is a little bit off on y so it's actually that's why you see it's 976 uh c it's 90 because it has to be uh 90 degrees from uh holes that are already drilled uh i'm having two of them 180 angle okay let's run them Uh, this space which is a 70 I think it's 78,000 you can go into a TPC and uh, you can change it in parameters to start 20 this is my first piece that I'm doing so I'll make these adjustments later on That's why I love these uh, circle mill. Uh, there are so many things you can do with it. All right, guys. Uh, thank you, and uh, see you next time.